Harry Moments, Erotic Heritage Museum. Hi! Do we to start that again? I'm Rebecca Love. <laughs> That's Jocelyn Stone. That's me. I wouldn't call her my sidekick. She's like my partner in crime for oh. Adult Film Star Network. Um, we have a little presentation on how to be a perfect guest, if you want to start a podcast, maybe you just want to be on one. So we'll go through the presentation and then we'll, uh, well, if you have questions, let's do it. All right, you can turn off the light. <laughs> so, on Talking Dirty, it's one of my podcasts and it teaches people about the adult industry on how to make money. So you pick out a topic that you want to learn about and it will go into detail, like say adult webcams, they break it down for you. Uh, podcasting for porn stars, 156 breaks down podcasting with porn stars. Basically, this is one of my episodes. So, uh, and she's my co-host. Yes. And she has her own podcast on the network called Sick Addictions, and she teaches people about the fetish uh, community, fetish world. Um, all of it. All of it. It depends on uh, the question at hand. So, like, this is a topic that you have. I have one that uh, cuckolding. People think it's just one thing. There's so many levels to it that we did a whole episode about it. And now people are going, oh, my God, I had no idea. Exactly. That was the whole point of this of this episode and of the podcast. I don't I'm not the end all be all of information, but if you ask me a question, I'm gonna go find it for you. Yes, it's her opinion and we try to keep it with education. There are like Demon Seed is Shock Jock, um, there's other networks that you you might want to have an entertainment podcast or you might want to do one of those. And more power to you. If you fit that network, you should run with it. All right, let's get into podcasting. Um, I'm just going to read what's up on the board. Getting out there and marketing your name is a full-time job. One great way to make your brand known in any business is social media marketing. A platform I highly recommend is podcasting. Podcasts are an audio social media marketing genius. Why are you waiting to get your voice heard? Radio is great for the moment, but podcasts are forever. Get on a show that you can contribute value. Very important. Contribute value, even if it's entertainment. What makes you unique? Yeah, yeah. pump it up. What's your because brand? Each one of us is completely different. So what makes you that unique person? And keep coming back to. So, I. Uh, why can't I hear you? Because you haven't started podcasting. Does anybody know what a podcast is? Yeah, she does. You know. She does. So everybody know. Everybody knows what a podcast. To me, it's like DVR for TV, except it's DVR for uh, talk shows, radio shows. It's a DVR version because really, when's the last time you watch something live, besides going to a concert? But I record all my shows on TV and radio. Well, let me go to the next one. Radio, uh, when I used to feature, they would have us go into the radio station, and it's great for local uh, local marketing because everybody's listening to the talk shows in the morning. Um, they have the live feed going on, tons of freaking commercials, sure, and it's mass marketing in that area. But it's a generic audience, and the interview is pretty generic, and it's always the same goddamn questions. So I had to get in the business. Yeah, I. Where is your favorite person to work with? Oh, yes, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you known for? That one I don't mind. <laughs> That's your brand and signature. But it's the same questions over and over. And where can we find you, of course? Now, podcasting, you're archived forever. And I'm sure radio stations are starting to do that, but I don't know if they have the topics down. Like, if I was going to do an interview with Jocelyn Stone, I would probably label my topic. Jocelyn Stone, so you know it's about her. So you would pick out a topic that works for you instead of wasting your time on other subjects. That's the beauty of podcasting. It's kind of like YouTube audio form, and you can multitask doing anything. I don't know how much shit I've gotten done just listening to audio. I'm addicted to that. I listened to podcasts all day yesterday while I was cleaning my house. 
But one of my favorite things about listening to the different podcasts that I do, and I have quite a few of them like she does, but when I go through the Starbucks drive through and I'm in the middle of listening, I, I want to hit pause. And on podcasts, I can, and I'm not going to miss a thing. Uh, radio, I missed it because the girl's going, can I get you something? No, I missed it all. So that's one of my favorite things, like you were saying, the DVR. That's one of my favorite things to do. I can stop it and then start right back where I was, it, especially if somebody's calling me, too. You know what else I love? You can rewind, you can fast forward, and you can speak the bitch up because sometimes they talk really slow. Oh my god. <laughs> it drives me nuts. <laughs> no, that's true. You can actually speed it up, speed up their speech. It's like yeah. old record players. You can speed them up. I know. <laughs> nasty I, motherfucker. I just dated myself on that. <laughs> so, <laughs> just a little. A little. Limited sponsors. So we don't call them commercials in podcasting because you might have one sponsor or two, but they're getting charged up the yin yang because they monopolize that real estate. You're giving up that real estate unless you're your own product. Then you're your own sponsor. You don't have to worry about getting a sponsor if one happens, yay. If uh, it doesn't, have your little 30 second, 60 second commercial talking about whatever site. Just give them one task though. Don't give them a whole bunch like, one of my pet peeves is when, oh, my Instagram's this, my uh, Snapchat, this. No, give them one spot to go because if they hear too many, they tune out. Yep. So I always say go to RebeccaLove.com, all my social shit's there. But when you are looking for a sponsor, if somebody says, ooh, I want to be on your show, um, I think my product fits with you, uh, that's a forever commercial. It's forever in that episode. You're not going to go back and edit it out and go, oh, no, 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 you know, I ran it, and it's good. It is forever there. So if they get six spots or four spots, even one spot, then they pay for it, it's there. It doesn't go anywhere. I recommend if you do a sponsor, if it's 30 minutes, one sponsor. If it's an hour, you can have two. But don't overwhelm them with so much. And if you don't use the product, don't sponsor them. If they don't fit your show, don't use them, but that's only if you want to create your own podcast. It's a targeted audience, so this was general. This is targeted. You're going to get the people that you want listening to the show, and you'll know that by your downloads. And there's plenty of stats on most of the uh, MP3 servers like Lipson. I think there's Podbean. I use Lipson, so I don't know. Uh, all right, let's go to the next one. Do you guys have any questions? Am I talking too fast? Yeah. The pug? Oh, I just found it on the internet. Oh, okay. oh I steal images. <laughs> oh, <I> steal images. <laughs> they steal ours. We'll hey, steal it's free. It. I'm not charging for this. <laughs> and it was naked. Also, um, where she was saying um, the title of your show or or the name of um, the individual podcast. That is what pulls people in. We have fans because I'm her co-host and she's mine, and we're completely different. Because she's Spanish and I'm vanilla, so I'm asking with the listeners She is a vanilla and cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the words that she comes up with. Are you two the same? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. You guys would. She's more. Yeah, she's more like fetish kind of, and I'm more like girlfriend experience. Okay. Oh, so more vanilla, exactly. Just, See, you can cross. See, the if you guys have a contrast, you we do make videos together. Yeah. We make oh, of our contrast really well already, but podcasting would be a fun. Vision. It's a fun. new step, the next step. But you know, when you find like talking dirty, you know, some vanilla dude driving home from work, going, I want to find a new show to let. Oh, talking dirty. Ooh, and it's big boot. You know, she, she has the image. She okay, has, there's no big boobs on that. Okay, now what's it's the, the tongue? With the tongue it's the tongue sticking out. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So he's yeah. thinking you're going to talk about blowjobs. <laughs> I do. I do. The I network do. is the boobs. Sorry. <laughs> well, I put a lot of keywords in, like adult, porn, uh, my name, her name. I put them in so when you're searching on your podcast app, which was back a few pictures, on your iPhone, and I think it's uh, Google Play or Stitcher for your Android and stuff, those keywords will help because you'll come up in the ranking. 
since we've been doing it for a couple of years, we're up there now and our downloads are nice, very nice. <laughs> but those titles, they suck them in. They do because people, I got a phone call yesterday from one of her fans that turned around and said, holy crap, I was looking at the network and saw the name of this show that you did and I had to listen. So you know, it, the name, catch them, catch them with the words. You don't even have to be dirty because mine wasn't dirty. So. It's a dirty fucking title though. <laughs> and it was about tube sites. Yeah, you had, her title was, what was it? Fuck, Fuck me in the ass with a big tooth, baby. <laughs> okay, I highly don't recommend you using cuss words in your title because the iTunes might kick you off. I kind of worked around it and then threw it in the subject part. But Bend the rules, don't break them. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I so, can tell these, she fixes it. <laughs> I have to, but they're great titles. It's just iTunes. And Facebook, they're really finicky when it comes to the adult yeah. industry. Uh, how to be a great podcast guest. A lot of people fuck this up, and this is why I want to make it clear. Be respectful of people's time, just like you're showing up at set. I get it. You're not getting paid. You know why? Because they're doing your PR for you. They're going to market the crap out of you. It's so just, respect them. Do you get paid when you show up to a radio station? So, and this will fit the audience you're looking for. Sometimes it doesn't, because sometimes you get podcasters, you got to do your research, because some of them aren't worth it, or they're just doing their baby steps. But if they have great audio, if they're respectful, I give them a chance. I didn't in the beginning. I really messed up a lot. And if you're not sure, this happened to me this morning. Okay. At about 8.30 this morning, I opened up an email, and somebody's asking me, you know, hey, I have this time slot open on Wednesday. Can you do it? Blah, blah, blah. I listened to, you know, just jumped through because I can fast forward and rewind on the podcast. And um, it was very political. And I'm like, okay. Oh, it was political. Why are you asking me? So normally I get off on getting those. Was questions. it live from America podcast? I. Because they just hit me up for Wednesday. Maybe. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> I got to look. My but it was very political, the stuff that I heard. It was the first time that I actually said, can you give me a general idea of the questioning? I'm all about doing it. What's his fan base? We could hit, you know, 100,000 people because he's a political asshole. Or he could come at me because I do porn and what do I think about the president mm -hmm. grabbing me by the pussy? You know? So what situation is he going to put me in? And how good am I going to come across to his audience? So, will it be a good interview? <coughs> I need to do my research and find out. Right, right, because they will throw you under the bus, okay. trying to get, uh, trying to humiliate you. Shut Turn it around. Pussy is power. P penis is too. Penis is too. <laughs> <laughs> well, <pussy> uh, <laughs> so be respectful of their time. If you can't make it, suggest somebody else to fill in for you, uh, or schedule another day, and make sure you know the time zone. Because I hate it when they go, hey, can you be uh, ready at 3 p.m. and we'd like to do this over Skype. I'm like, 3 p.m., what time zone? Because that's a big difference from east to west. Yeah, it could be noon here and <laughs> it's 3 o'clock in New York. Yeah. There you go. Now I'm not, I'm not home because I still have three hours. <laughs> <laughs> Get a quiet place. I did an interview with a girl one time, this was in the beginning, and she was going through drive through oh. oh yeah. So I had all that in the background. It's very distracting when you're trying to listen and get those little nuggets. We always like nuggets in our podcast. If we don't have a teachable moment, why do it? Just for us. I mean, there's, it depends on what you're going for. But get in a quiet spot. I always tell people, go in the closet. It's a perfect boom room because your clothes are hanging. And it's a small space, and there's no echo. Right. That's where I record things. If I'm, I'm recording a podcast by myself, she told me that. And I literally sit in my closet, surrounded by my shoes and all my clothes and stuff. And it's great sound. It's such good sound that you can actually hear me breathing. And if you <laughs> don't have an external mic, like a headset, kind of like this right here, which is beautiful, um, 
do the Skype, because a lot of them do it by Skype. Get the Skype on your app, because your microphone's right here by your mouth, and do the interview that way. A lot of them are by audio. Make sure you tell them what's off the table. Maybe you don't want to talk about your kids, your husband, break that fantasy. Maybe you don't uh, want to talk about certain things that are very personal or a controversy that just happened. Let them know what's off the table. But if you bring it up, it's back on the table. Right. Be makeup ready because a lot of people will take the Skype interview and they'll use that little three minute video as a trailer for the podcast and you want to be makeup ready. Don't be looking like this guy. You can wear a hat. You can look like, it, just throw on some makeup. It doesn't have to be your horror makeup. But your horror makeup. Your grocery store, I don't know, whatever you throw makeup on. You put on at least your grocery store makeup. Yeah, the grocery store. <laughs> the grocery store. You can even show up in pajamas because it's cute and it's funny. Or your little sundress. You don't have to be that porn star when they do that. And it gives another, um, it opens up to, to your fans that you are a real person. Uh, let's see what else. It's I great. like to wear my onesie for jammies, but I sit on my bed and I have a wall of torture devices behind That's me. Amazing. So the people yeah. sit there and go, you know, I don't know. Uh, hey, if you're distracted, that's your problem. <laughs> but I'm sitting there in a cute little top or something. So I like to throw them off, just like she's talking about. She's yes. ready. You never know. She does. She has the wall of pain. <laughs> Opportunity. They're giving you the opportunity to be respectful. I know you're going, time is money, and I'm doing them a favor. Look, they're doing you a favor because they're going to promote the crap out of you, Because especially if they're a little show, but even a big show will do it too. And you're using their time to promote your product, your brand. And uh, promote their show if you like it. But first of all, don't promote it if it's crap. <laughs> you didn't like the interview, don't be spreading the the news out there just if you really like it because they're going to tag you and what i always tell people because some of them are i don't know why they don't tag make sure you're set up in google alerts anytime your name comes up it'll alert you so you know if you're showing up or not they'll if they're professionals they'll have it all down pat for you because they want you to promote because let's face it they want you guys because you have the following that's true it is true. And if you like the show, leave them an iTunes review. It goes a long way. And they'll have you back as a guest, especially if they have a lot of downloads. That would be amazing. Yeah, Any questions? you bumps them up. Yeah. And it bumps them up on iTunes. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Start a podcast. We were just telling you how to be a great guest and all. Let me tell you something. Starting a podcast. I've done all the work for the last couple of years. It's a bitch. It's hell. But it's my passion. And if you can do something for free and you absolutely love it, and I can't wait for the next time I do a podcast or market, my thing is editing and marketing. I love it. Doing the show notes, oh, it gets me. But you have to be committed like a marriage. This is going to be the other woman or the other man in your life. You have to commit to it. If it's once a month, commit to having it every time. It doesn't have to be the same day of the week. But commit once a month, commit once a week. I wouldn't go over once a week. It's just it's too much and you're monopolizing people's time, like I said. How dare you take up five days a week of their time? Because you know what? They're just going to stop listening because they get overwhelmed with all the downloads on their phone. And it takes up room. You're taking up real estate. So I suggest if you do a podcast, do it 15 minutes, 30, an hour, do it as long as you want, but I would say under an hour to keep it. Yeah, keep it under an hour because people will listen on their drives, on yeah. their commutes, and um, make sure you have some sort of structure, some sort of focus. You'll go off to the left sometimes. I am we happy. call it the train wreck. It's way off to the left, and we have absolutely no idea why we started talking that way, but that's the entertainment of it. But then we come back on point, and that... It, we that's what show notes are for. Yeah. This is what, and you know what? You can work on them throughout the week. You just add a little nugget here, <coughs> write the summary, you know, before I do it. 
notes in your phone. I'll be driving going, Siri, text me. Because I have a great topic. I have to be passionate about my topic, or it's hard for me to talk about. I, w I was stumped the last two weeks. Because I was like, I don't know what to talk about. But I was all over the place the last two weeks. And we did two of my shows, recorded them in one day. And I was like nuts about the, the tube sites. I was angry. So the debate was unbelievable. She's so fucking nice. Right. And I'm not. I want to. Well, she had a different point of view. <laughs> I was like, you cannot control the beast. Let's work around it and figure out a resolution to the problem. And she did. She had one. And it yeah. was great. Uh, time consuming. Oh, yeah. <coughs> if you're not committed, don't do it. Because you know what? Just get on shows. How easy is it to just show up at a certain time, do the interview, they're asking the questions. There's no work involved. It's just you. But it's so, great promotion, great marketing. Yeah, if you can't commit, just find the ones that work for you because it's still marketing. You're taking up sponsorship. Because think about that whole podcast or how many minutes they have you on. It's dedicated to you. I keep talking to you, but I, I'm talking to everybody. <laughs> She's like my <laughs> focus point. <laughs> now you got new people. I, I know. <laughs> hey. I know them, but they don't count. Yeah, they don't count. So uh, it is. It used to be an investment. I would say the more investment now is your time. Your time is the investment. I started with the mixer down there. We used to do, um, yeah, the big mixing board, which is great. And then I had this, um, let's see if I have it. Is it ready to go? I have this. There are apps that Yep, mm -hmm. Boss, I use Boss Jack. And I plug it into there, and I can put my intro, I can put my sponsorship in the middle, and stick stuff on the end. I can feed in um, our voicemail calls. I don't fucking use it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just tell you. She really does not I don't. Call. I don't. Call. We either Skype, and I use a headset with her. I use call recorders. So I've got I'm one not. of the same headsets as well. I will splice it all together, because editing is my... And I hate that so much. What? I hate editing. Oh, the blasphemy! Like, oh, <laughs> they will not be friends. I, <laughs> you know, videos, I can film like 20 videos and yeah. sit on them for months because I won't edit them. I just had to like hire somebody to do it to like edit I, my last years of content. I do it. it. I always tell people, if they're not passionate about what they're doing, give that job to yeah. somebody that wants to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is so much more better to focus on what you want. Do the portion that you're, Sorry, that you're passionate about. Okay. <laughs> okay. It is hot in here. Okay. So, if you're not passionate or you, you just don't want to do it, yeah, delegate it to somebody else. It'll get done quicker. And it's one less job you have to do because you're right. Time is money. And it's mm -hmm. your time. Have a structure, we said show notes, uh, once a week, once a month, and because podcasting is so popular now, your audio quality is a must. It's a must. If you sound like shit, or if I'm recording her and me, because we record in multi-tracks, I have to fix her, her audio and then my audio to meet in the middle and be pristine. Because if somebody's off, nobody wants to listen. It might be great content, but they're annoyed. They don't yeah. want to hear the crap. And it's okay to have a dog bark in the background. It makes you more personable. But a kid cry. I was listening to a podcast the other day, and the kid was crying the whole time. And I'm like, oh. I turned it off. I stopped. I, that would give me anxiety. <coughs> I couldn't handle listening to somebody's, somebody's baby cry. I don't know if she's holding it, and she's doing an interview. I have no idea. Wow. But wow. great audio and content is king. Audio is a really, really big deal because I had somebody I really wanted to listen to their podcast and I was doing a long drive and I thought, oh yeah, here's my opportunity. It's going through my speakers. It was ridiculous. The audio was so bad. Not only was I disinterested at that point and I was super into the topic, I deleted their whole show. I unsubscribed everything. I'm like, if that's what you're dishing out, I don't have time. I don't have time to be annoyed like that. So it was done. So audio is big. And I always say she's an audio whore. I am. She will, I am. will redo a show, a, a topic, yeah. uh, if, if the audio sucks. So Yeah, and yeah, we get better done. and better. There's, we're still learning. We're still evolving. Um, 
I'm sure we have some shows that I should go in and fix, but I just don't have the time. Um, <laughs> these are the free editing software. You got Audacity, you got GarageBand, and then I actually pay the $20 a month because I love, love Adobe Audition. So, and I, I love playing with the system. And this is probably a really good, we just, I put this, let me tell you a secret about porn stars. Put three of these on my wish list, and for my birthday, yay, but do yeah, he got me birthday. three. So when you want to start with this stuff, that's what you do. You put it on your wish list, and then they're intrigued, because this is something that's personal, like, oh, what are you doing next? What, it, microphones for what? And they go from there, and, and now they're like a super fan. They get this, and I you're going to talk to them about <coughs> them getting you the gift. And uh, I also put this little bad boy. This is the, uh, how do we say Ron? H6. $400 beast right there. Put that on my wish list. Got it for Christmas. So, yep. and that's, this is so portable. All I need is this, this, and another mic, and it saves it on an SD card. Beautiful. Now I don't even use half this crap. <laughs> now she still has this when I go over to her house. We live on opposite ends of town. Um, we um, used to go through the whole, the whole mixing board and all this stuff. And now we um, use the little one. I, I was like waiting for her to get this out, this, and do all the stuff like oh my she God. always did. And I'm like, are you ready? I couldn't believe it. I'm like, holy crap, it just broke it down too. It's so simple, so simple now. All right, do you have any questions? What are your favorite podcasts that you like to listen to? I listen to uh, comedy podcasts like School of Laughs because um, I also do stand-up comedy. So I listen to a lot of those teachable moments. Uh, those are my favorites. Comedy Go-Go, School of Laughs. Oh, and uh, Porn and Coffee. Yep. That's another one that teaches you about the business of adult. How about you? I like Extreme Restraints. They do. I know that they people do that, Yeah. They only do it every once in a while, and it's, um, oh, we're talking about audio and stuff, and I'm actually going to talk to Ian Rapp about this and Aiden Starr. They're the ones that do it. But um, they do a big, uh, like, presentation and their toys and stuff like that. But um, when somebody asks a question, you can't hear them. Nobody goes through the editing like she's talking about. They just pop it right up. And that's very frustrating. Um, it's strictly audio. So I, I understand what they're talking about. And I'm like, what if Rebecca was listening to this? She wouldn't understand what that was. And she's taught me that where I use terms. And she's like, wait, 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 wait what does that mean? You know, she keeps me in check being my vanilla cupcake. She questions me all the time. I can't time. even tell you the words because they don't know them. They're not my vocabulary. And here I am using acronyms <laughs> like CBT. And she's like, what? It's a what? You know, because we have random vanilla people that are listening. So she keeps me grounded instead of just taking my vocabulary for, for granted that I know what it is. That doesn't mean everybody else does. And it doesn't mean that they understand that I'm looking at a laptop that has an app open that's hooked to, she's got to say it. So be aware of, of, the, your audience. of the audio because they can't see you. But uh, my other one, my addiction, and it is, it's... I know yeah. what you're going to say, go ahead. Which one? The basement one? Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> the basement yard with um, Joe Santagato. He's like this YouTube sensation. That guy is hilarious. And he, even though his shows are very random, um, he'll go, yeah, I've got my friend Rebecca Love here. And tell him about that story that happened at the bar last week, you know, karaoke triplets. Go ahead and tell him. And it's based around that story. It could go anywhere, but he does have a little bit of a structure. And it, his sponsors and stuff, are, oh, my God. He, he goes, yeah, so these fucking people... And I'm like, really? That's how you talk about your sponsor? He's hilarious, though, and he's consistently like that. And he just created this thing. And 
to just turn 25. Right. And now, he's a toddler. If you want to learn about podcasting, I actually listen to the School of Podcasting with Dave Jackson. And I listen and I blur the lines between fetish and the adult industry. Anybody that wants to get in it, um, it I tell them to listen to the podcast. I've got a friend that's getting back into the industry. I said, you have no idea what beast you're dealing with now after four years. So listen, listen to all of these podcasts. And yeah, yeah. it's valuable <laughs> information with really dirty stories. Girl, I'm trying to be respectful of people's time okay. right now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I gotta clear all this out for him. Make sure you like, share, and comment to our video. Hey guys, thanks for checking out our video this week. Please make sure to remember to comment, subscribe, Carry favorite, on. or share so this wrong. video. And check out some of the other good stuff we have on our channel.